hello, welcome to another video. Sunday afternoon, a lot of rain overnight. I've never seen that bit there flooding. But I'm off along the canal. I think at the moment this year, we seem to have uh, way more, way more water than is needed. It's been very wet. So it's a while since I've been out along the canal, as you guys know. But it's late Sunday afternoon. It was heavy rain this morning. I did plan to go out, but uh, couldn't quite find the motivation. Still need to, uh, to fully get back motivated for riding. You know how it is. But my, uh, my realistic aim to get back to some sort of fitness it's to aim to do 50 to 60 miles a week hopefully from now on i've got a couple of weekend things that all may just get in the way but um that's my aim my weekly routine going back two three four five years is to aim to do 100 miles a week and that was generally made up of maybe three three 10 to 15 mile rides in the week shortish a longer ride on a saturday and then whatever i needed on sunday to top up two years on the trot i managed 5,000 miles a year be nice to get back to that but it is quite demanding on time it's certainly not impossible but proper work gets in the way of it when it's self-employed it's a bit easier. So I thought I'd share with you on this ride some thoughts about that motivation and finding the motivation and what's worked for me in the past to get back riding again or to keep riding if I've got something in mind. So for me tends to be just getting into the routine i know uh, as i mentioned a bit ago riding 100 miles a week if i've got 10 15 miles to do on a day and it's the depths of winter and raining to be enough of a motivator it's just for numbers so if i fall behind and and don't do it i miss my 100 and if i can do the 100 even in winter when the weather's not great then it gives me a good buffer for the summer. And that's, that's always worked for me in the past. But at the moment, I'm not quite in that zone. So, like this morning, it wasn't torrential rain, but three years ago, it definitely wouldn't have stopped me. And I would have said to Ian, who uh, also didn't come out this morning, you're not made of sugar, man, let's go. And it would have worked. But it didn't work for me or him today. We avoided it and waited for this afternoon till the sun comes out. So the aim now the nights are a little bit lighter is to hopefully use that to my advantage just to go out and regularly do 10, 15 miles um, early evening, just uh, about dusk time. But it won't be long until we've got a decent amount of light, will it? So that's definitely going to help. Well, that's pretty, pretty full and in full flow. The canal's looking pretty full along here. With it being a canal, you don't often see it that full. And it's, uh, Seems to have a fair flow on it today, although there is a bit of a stiff headwind. So I think just here, I might go over that bridge. 
and go up the old railway line that I normally come down. I expect it will be muddy like this for the first couple of hundred yards and then generally it drains reasonably well. It might be muddy as opposed to standing water that I've come through a lot of on the canal. So let's see. Slightly stupidly, I thought I'd set it recording for the wet, wet bit. I was literally riding up a stream, but uh, when I just stopped, it wasn't, it wasn't recording. I'd accidentally switch it back off again. It's a bit annoying, but I wasn't going to go back and do that again. As you can see here, it's a little bit muddy, a little bit damp, but it's not too bad. Where was I? Oh yes, motivation. So the other thing that works for me is having something definite to aim for. And with the help of uh, young Ian, who you know from the channel, motivation next is having an event to aim at. So he's entered us for an Ordax, the Lincoln Imp Ordax. Now, I've never done one before. So that's 112K, I think it is, in uh, April. So not too far away. But that's going to be something to, to aim at. So I think, again, having something that keeps you riding to aim at like that is a good way to keep yourself motivated because you've got a definite target and if you don't do the training it's going to hurt or more importantly you risk failure we don't want that do we so back out onto the road when you're uh, when you're back on the road after mud it's so much easier isn't it Puddle. And in the final part of the motivation segment, for the first time we're going to have an actual trainer. So the guys from a business called Unstoppable, they do corporate and personal well-being and training, they're going to work out a program for me. In a future video, hopefully, I'll take them along for a ride and uh, they can talk you through what pain they're going to put me through. Actually, to be fair, it's not that kind of training. It is actually more about sleep. They're really big on getting the right amount of sleep. You can't be at your best if you're not sleeping. And also the nutrition side, more so than hard training. Been as I've not ridden so long and hardly ridden last year, I'm probably four or five kilos heavier than I'd really like to be. So the aim is to get that fixed too. So that is an update on pretty much all my plans to get back motivated properly for cycling again. You know what it is if you've had a layoff. It does take a while to get back in the swing of it. But all being well, that little combination of things will get me back going again. I'm interested to know what you guys do when you're lacking motivation to get back in the swing of it. As always, drop a comment below. Let us know what works for you. But thank you as always for watching. Don't forget to click the bell icon, a like and subscribe, it's free. And it really helps me out. And uh, that'll be another part of the motivation actually. If I can get towards 2,000 subscribers, just a bit over 200 to go, 
that'll be another thing that'll motivate me won't it all the more reason to make some more videos which I can only do of course when I'm out on a bike thanks as always see you soon see you hopefully in a few days time bye for now